This word is fussing. Let's say that together. Fussing. Fussing means to give something a lot of busy attention. Let's say that together. Fussing means to give something a lot of busy attention. This word is cradle. Let's say that together. Cradle. A cradle is a small bed for a baby. Let's say that together. A cradle is a small bed for a baby. This book is called Peter's Share and is another story about the boy named Peter that we read about before. Peter has a new baby sister and a lot of his old things are being used for the new baby. This book was also written and illustrated by Ezra Jack Keats. That means he wrote the words and drew the pictures. We already know about Ezra Jack Keats because he wrote Whistle for Willie and The Snowy Day. Let's start by looking at the pictures and talking together about what's happening. What is Peter doing here? What happened? What are Peter, Willie, and Peter's mother doing right now? What is Peter's father doing? What's happening here? What is Peter doing? What are Peter and Willie doing? What do you think's happening here? What is Peter doing here? What is Peter doing here? What do you think Peter's mother is doing? What happened? What are Peter and his father doing? Now that we've looked at all the pictures and said what we thought might be happening on each page, let's read the words and see if we were right. Peter stretched as high as he could. There, his tall building was finished. Crash! Down it came. Shh! Called his mother. You'll have to play more quietly. Remember, we have a new baby in the house. Peter looked into his sister Susie's room. His mother was fussing around the cradle. That's my cradle, he thought. And they painted it pink. Hi, Peter, said his father. Would you like to help paint sister's high chair? It's my high chair, whispered Peter. He saw his crib and muttered, My crib. This painted pink too. Not far away stood his old chair. <gasps> they didn't paint that yet, Peter shouted. He picked it up and ran to his room. Let's run away, Willie, he said. Peter filled a shopping bag with cookies and dog biscuits. We'll take my blue chair, my toy crocodile, and the picture of me when I was a baby. Willie got his bone. They went outside and stood in front of his house. This is a good place, said Peter. He arranged his things very nicely and decided to sit in his chair for a while. But he couldn't fit in the chair. He was too big. His mother came to the window and called. Won't you come back to us, Peter, dear? We have something very special for lunch. Peter and Willie made believe they didn't hear, but Peter got an idea. Soon his mother saw signs that Peter was home. That rascal is hiding behind the curtain, she said happily. She moved the curtain away, but he wasn't there. Here I am, shouted Peter. Peter sat in a grown-up chair. His father sat next to him. Daddy, said Peter, 
Let's paint the little chair pink for Susie. Let's say this word together. Fussing. Fussing means to give something a lot of busy attention. On this page of our story, Peter looks in on his mom who's fussing around the cradle. That means she's giving the cradle a lot of attention. We could use the word fussing another way. We could say, my baby cousin was fussing in church. Let's say that word together again. Fussing. Let's say this word together. Cradle. A cradle is a small bed for a baby. On this page of our book, Peter's mom is fussing around the cradle. That means she is around the small bed that's for his baby sister. We could use the word cradle another way. We could say, my baby cousin has a cradle to sleep in at home. Let's say that word together again. Cradle. <laughs>